why I use this knife in my work and why I recommend to use this knife to all my students. We will talk about it in this tutorial. Learn how to make shoes with my step-by-step -step video course. Before I will start the tutorial, make sure to subscribe to this channel if you are still not a subscriber, because here we will talk about shoemaking and how to make shoes. I have a lot of different knives, but most of the work I do with this knife. And that's why I recommend to all beginners in shoemaking to start working with this excellent knife. And in this tutorial, I will explain why and how to keep this knife always sharp. So, let's start. You see, I have many different knives, but most of them I don't use. Because I have this one excellent knife that I work with and do a lot of many different works. So what we can do working with this knife? You can skype working with this knife and because of this curved blade it will give you many different options for skiving. So if you want to skive not so wide um, edge you can keep it, your fingers closer to the edge. Then if you want to skive more, you can move it far away from the blade and create lower angle for skiving to skive more and even more like this, okay? So because of this curved blade, you have here many different possibilities. Now working with this knife, you also can trim extra of leather. You can trim extra of leather when you build heels. So to cut extra of leather that extend from the shoe when you build heels, you, you should keep this knife like this and cut extra of leather. So when you will hold it like this, you will not cut yourself and you will not scratch the upper. You can trim also the extra of shoe sole when you want to build shoe sole. Now, most of the knives, when you buy them, you need to sharpen. This knife already comes very sharp. And what you need to do is to keep this knife always sharp. And because it comes very sharp, So you see, it comes very sharp, so you, to maintain it's very easy. Now I will explain you how to keep this knife always sharp. You should work with simple sandpaper with grid 120 or even with lower grid like 80. You should have some wooden stick to which you need to attach with nails strap of sandpaper. And then what you need to do is to make few strokes on the surface of this sandpaper and then your knife will be always sharp. So how to do it? Most important thing is to, to keep it in the same angle that this blade has. So here we have one angle and on the other side we, ha we have straight angle without any inclination. Okay, so when you will scuff it, you should keep this knife along same angles. So when you will scuff here, you will need to put it in the same angle, not move like this, not like this, try to hold it in the right angle and move along this sandpaper. Then you should 
do same strokes on the other side of the knife place it when it lay directly on the surface of the sandpaper because we have here straight surface and may also two strokes for example or like this in shoemaking you need to sharpen your knife almost in any task that you want to do and that's why this approach is very easy and when you will use it you will keep this already sharpened knife always sharp that's it now you know what type of knife is the best for you as a beginner in shoemaking how to keep it always sharp and make sure to subscribe to this channel if you are still not a subscriber and click the bell button to know when my new video will come out. If you have questions, you are welcome to ask your questions and see you in the next tutorial. Thank you. Bye.